can this carport protect against the ultimate hailstorm simulation? When Weatherproof returns, hail is responsible for billions of dollars worth of damage each year, and cars are too often in the middle of that beatdown. Can anything protect when ice falls from the sky? That even sounded like a real hailstorm. Dust storms and high heat make deserts dangerous. How can you stay safe? One thing an umbrella won't protect you against is hail, especially golf ball sized and up. Most hailstorms in the United States happen in Hail Alley, which consists of Colorado, Nebraska, and Wyoming. Pea-sized hail can destroy crops in a matter of minutes. When hail reaches golf ball sized, widespread damage is certain. We're at an abandoned warehouse to simulate how hail falls from the sky. So the question is, how does hail work? Well, first of all, you get warm, moist air that rises up. When it does that, it cools and condenses and forms things like rain, also clouds, and hail. So now we have this hail particle that's suspended in our thunderstorm thanks to very strong updrafts. While it's suspended and kind of bouncing around, it collides with other particles and it grows. If our updraft weakens or our hail becomes too big, it goes crashing to the earth. Every year, hail causes a lot of damage. $1.3 billion on average to crops and $1 billion on average to personal property. And a lot of that damage is done in the form of vehicles getting wrecked. And vehicles, you can see, it's a thin sheet metal hood, thin sheet metal roof, and glass. Not very strong. And a lot of people have their cars out in the elements, so we want to test this puppy and see how it holds up. In our simulation, we're going to drop hail from about five stories up. But what you have to remember is in a real-life situation, hail is going to be falling from thousands of feet and going as fast as 100 miles an hour. Steph, we're ready. Noon, I'm about to move into position. What are you going to be dropping and how much of it? We are dropping three boxes of drink ice. All right, I'm moving into position here. Do you think this is going to do any damage? I think we might get a little bit of denting on the hood on the sheet metal, but I don't know how much. All right, I'm ready to go whenever you're ready to go, so you make the call. Dropping. like a real hailstorm. The hail came down very quickly and a lot of it actually fell. You can see it spread all the way here, hit the car and ricocheted off. But a lot of the ice that hit the car, it actually broke up. The car was stronger than our simulation here of this hail. Any dents? No dents, still good. Nothing, not even one? Woo! It's cold, Newton. Imagine that, right? Oh, it's cold. Uh, no dents. The paint is still intact. The windshield is still intact. No issues here. And the hood of the car as well also held up. So the car won this battle. Well, don't get too excited. We have some more stuff coming up. But first, can this carport protect against the ultimate hailstorm simulation? When Weatherproof returns, Powerful thunderstorms often bring hail, which can range from pea-sized hail all the way up to softball-sized hail. Falling at speeds up to 100 miles per hour, the damage can be devastating. The weatherproof team's test car survived a barrage of drink ice from five stories up. The car won this battle. But this experiment is just getting started. And the updated forecast calls for golf ball-sized golf balls. Okay, three, two, one, go! Newton, those did some damage! And that really wasn't a lot, per se. You have a lot more up there, don't you? Oh yeah, there's more where that came from. Okay, so let's see what happened here. It looks like I got a broken windshield down there. You definitely have a broken windshield uh, here on the front of this car, thanks to the golf balls. And I tried to rub my hand over the car, Newton, but there's a lot of glass, so I'm not going to do that, actually. That came from the windshield. 
I don't actually see any dent, but as you can see, the uh, windshield is certainly smashed. Yeah, I haven't weighed those golf balls. I have a, I have a feeling that they're a little bit lighter than uh, they would be if they're solid ice. And I bet there is some dents on that hood. It's just hard to see because it's white paint. Oh, look at this! It did! This is exactly what I thought would happen. And this is a good example of golf ball size hail. You see these little dents on the hood? This is what you would see if you were in a hailstorm and you had golf ball size hail. I'm so glad this worked because this is really what I thought would happen. This got the direct impact. Maybe it didn't dent the hood, I'm thinking, because the golf balls hit the top of the car and then maybe rolled over or bounced onto the hood. But this got the direct impact and it worked. Definitely. You ready for something else? You have more? Oh, yeah. All right, let's roll it then. Newton, look, look at this. Look at this. You know what that means. That's glass. I think it's interesting before we take it off just to show that it actually did tear through our cover here. Yeah. In all fairness, this is only supposed to withstand pea size hail, so That's we have right. to throw that out there. If you did notice it did withstand a few uh, hits from the balls before it finally broke. It did withstand a few hits. Good point on that one. But, uh, let's yeah, see what we got under here. This is not a fair test for this cover, but let's see what we did. Oh, man. Definitely cracked the windshield there. Annihilated the windshield. We know golf ball-sized hail can do some pretty impressive damage, but there are still two problems. The roof of the car still has some damage-free areas, and we haven't seen what grapefruit-sized hail can do. And what better way to replicate grapefruit-sized hail than to use frozen grapefruits? Oh, yeah. Good dents there on the roof of the car. Are there any hail-proof options to protect your car if you don't have a garage? Maybe. If you live in an area that has a lot of thunderstorms annually, you know what? It drops a lot of wind and also drops a lot of hail that can do some damage. So a great alternative to a garage would be a carport. This is one of the best carports I've ever seen. It's constructed of 12 gauge square tubing. Instead of having a half a tube, it has a full tube all the way around. And it has more supports than your normal carport. The sheet metal on top is real strong. It's 29 gauge, which is thin, but it's strong enough to withstand hail with minimal damage. The worst case scenario, if you have a big, big hailstorm with big balls of hail, it'll dent the sheet metal up, you can replace it, and you'll be back in business. Ready? Here they come. I know, it's like... The golf balls make a lot of noise, but despite tiny dents, the carport wins. Grapefruits add a pleasant citrusy odor to the air, but pose no threat to the vehicle below. Oh yeah, the dents are definitely bigger with the grapefruit. Hmm, what about the mythical bowling ball sized hail? From the top of the building, please. Now we're going to have a lot of fun. We are going above and beyond. We're going unrealistic here just to see what we can do to this carport. Are you ready? There's going to be some <laughs> big, big things coming down here. I've been waiting for this all day. Okay, here we go. <laughs> it did wow. do some damage, but none of the bowling balls got through this shed. Wow, that's pretty good. Check this out. Oh, wow. This experiment was very impressive because Mother Nature isn't going to be throwing bowling balls from the sky, but it still gave us an idea of how strong that this carport was. So if it could stand up to bowling balls, you would think it could stand up to a lot of what Mother Nature would throw at it. This carport did really well. This is a really good idea to cover up your car or boat or whatever it is. You can see that the, the bowling ball is all hit in pretty much one spot, which is significant because it's just getting hammered, 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 hammered. And the only thing that happened is it absorbed the pressure from that and maybe a couple little dents here on the main structure. Very impressive, real impressive. One final question. What would happen to the car if bowling balls fell from the sky with no carport to protect it? <laughs> oh, yeah. Watch out. Bowling balls are coming.